beautiful earth signs. I hope you are doing wonderful today. Thank you for joining me for another group session. So if you are Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, these messages will be for you. Now friends, if you haven't been to a group session before, all good. Just understand not all messages will resonate. So please take the messages as they resonate for you and discard the ones that don't resonate. If you need a private session, check me out at my website and something new, you can now book with me online. So go to my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com and check out the appointments page where you'll see a button that says book an appointment. That's how you get a hold of me, friends, for your own personal session. And of course, if you enjoy these messages, please don't forget to support me so I can keep supporting you. I hope these messages resonate with your heart and that they're helpful for you. So, Earth Signs, let's talk about January energies coming in. I'm not going to do the whole year review because I did that the last couple of weeks for you to give you an insight on what's coming for 2021. But now let's get more specific. Let's look at this month just for you and see how are things going to fly in January for Earth Signs. So, Earth Signs, please. What are the overall energies? Earth Signs, January. Earth Signs, January. What's coming around the corner for Earth Signs? There it is. Hold on, now I gotta go get it. One second. <laughs> Ooh, okay, earth signs. Arrow energy is coming up for you. And then when the arrow comes up, this is a card that is really asking you to kind of do one of these and do one of these and look over your shoulder, not in terms of expecting bad things, but this is about protection energy, okay? So this means that you might be dealing with either people, places, stuff that is not making you feel good. Maybe some people around you are having a difficult time. And as a result, they're kind of spreading some of their negativity around, maybe not to you, but you could be receiving negative energy either in your peripheral, sometimes other people that are having a hard time getting over their own stuff like to project things onto other people, you know, misery loves company, right? So be aware of your surroundings, be aware of the individuals around you, be very aware of the energy that you are holding in your mind and in your heart because you know very well, especially after like doing readings with me, you know that the energy that you hold within your body, in your mind and in your heart is the magnetic energy that you're sending out to the universe to say like attracts like. So if you're sending out messages of yucky, dense, heavy energy, then that's what's going to come around the corner for you. So be aware of what's going on around you and realign yourself with positivity. Do not mix in with the negative energies going around, no matter how tempting it can be. Okay. I get it because it can be tempting to be a victim. It can be tempting to gossip. It can be tempting to jump into that negative mindset. Don't do it. You're only hurting yourself for signs. Only hurting yourself. So Earth signs. Let's take a look in more detail. Hang on, did I have a card flip over already? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, earth signs. Earth signs. January energies. Earth signs. Let's take a look at the month of January, beginning, middle, and the end. January for our earth signs. Where do we start, please? Where do we start? Where are we starting? Earth signs. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Lovely. Okay. Really interesting here. Okay. So I feel like at the beginning of the month, you are looking pretty, Earth signs. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're manifesting in a very positive way. I do see that possibly mid month, you're going to have a revisit from some negative energy that might have been around you or circulating, etc. But I see that possibly near the end of the month, you cut ties and go in a different direction, realigning yourself with positivity again. Cool. So that's good. That's good. So heads up. Um, heads up earth signs. So first card coming out, six of pentacles. Lovely. This is telling me right now you feel good. You feel like everything's in order. Everything's in alignment. You feel like you're in good balance. You possibly have good partnerships that are working for you. And there's a lot of um, reciprocal balanced energy. Lovely, 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 lovely. And I also feel that you possibly are using a partnership or other, some other, um, it doesn't even have to be another person. It can just be the stuff that you're working on is working out well for you. And therefore, Ace of Wands, you're motivated to keep going. You're seeing all of the positive things that are coming for you. And you're like, okay, let's do this. Full steam ahead, okay? This also tells me you might be getting some beautiful new inspiration for based on, you know, the stuff that you're doing now, but maybe now getting new ideas like, oh, this worked, let's add this. Let's add this, let's do this now, okay? 
fresh new energy coming in and you're at the forefront of creation and this is cool. Check it out, queen of pentacles for you as well. So you are being very creative right now. You're really kind of coming back to your own grounded self to see what can I do, what can I create, but most of all, what feels good for me. This isn't about creating from a place of what's gonna work for somebody else. This is creating from a place of how you feel about what's going on in your plate and what you want to share with the world, okay? This is you being really confident, really grounded, really down to earth and using your creativity Creative talents. This is definitely an earth element. This is all up your alley, okay? So this is about you using your creativity and your grounding energy and all of your strengths to move forward in a new direction. You're finding the niche that works for you. This is really great. And speaking of the queen of pentacles, when we're looking at mid-month for you, you're flying, you're flying great, earth signs. Nine of Pentacles. There's some independence type energy coming forward. You are really standing in your power and you might even be starting to see the benefits of your work that you've been putting in coming around. It's possible that you might see some new money flow or cash flow coming in your way. It's possible that um, if you've wanted to take out a loan or a bank loan or something like that, things kind of come forward for you and now you have access to the funds or to the resources that you need to help take this project or to take your new mindset to the next level, okay? You're getting, you're feeling free, you're feeling independent, you're feeling like you got your ducks in a row and you know what you're doing. Excellent. <coughs> Excuse me, your signs. Now, I also see, like I was saying, mid-month, you might have a revisit for some, from something that wasn't working. Possibly people who are negative, again, negative energies, right? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, earth signs. So, in the heart of the spread, four of swords, okay? So, this is really talking about your mindset, okay? Not getting hung up on the details, not beating yourself up, not sitting there and worrying and stressing about everything. Sometimes this can be about even taking a step back and doing meditation or other things that calm the mind. And how interesting the polarity between the swords and the arrow right? Arrow is also an air element, which talks about the mind, same thing as the swords. So make sure you're not overworking your mind and any little bits of, ooh, what, what if, what if, what if type stuff that comes up, put it in the back burner. What if never really helped anybody because all you're doing is projecting fear-based energy into the future. And when you do that, you trip, up on, you trip up on it when you go in that direction. So wash your hands of that negativity, stay calm, stay grounded. You can do this. You can definitely do this. Now, we also have the Five of Swords in reverse, okay? I really like when there's evolution in cards, meaning Four of Swords, Five of Swords. Good thing is they're both in reverse. This is telling me that there very well might be people who are jealous of you, jealous of your grounded, calm energy, jealous of the traction and the success that you are receiving, possibly jealous that you're standing on your own and not, you know, connecting with them or including them, okay? And as a result, I think that with cutting ties with these people or other organizations is going to serve you very well because it's cutting out the drama all together. Now, end of the month, what's gonna be swinging around for you? Great energies here, okay? Starting off with the magician, holy cow. So there's polarity to this for me as well with the six of pentacles at the beginning because this is telling me you find your balance. This is telling me you find your niche and you're building momentum and things are really happening for you now. You've known what you want. You're focusing your energy with positive intention in that direction and now it's swinging around for you to kind of really reap the rewards, okay? Excellent. Keep up with this energy. Now, you know how I said that there's some stuff like you know again circulating or coming back around at the end of the month I also have the seven of swords in reverse excellent because this is also another reminder of the negativity okay and this is saying that you might have a difficult time shedding the people or things around you that don't want to see you succeed that aren't happy that you're going off on your own and being creative and being successful don't give this energy any of your energy. It doesn't even belong to you, earth signs, okay? See it for what it is, know it from what it is, smile at that energy lovingly and send it down the river because it's not gonna do you any good. Leave it alone. Speaking of leave it alone, 
Eight of Cups, right? Walk away from that negativity. Keep the things that are beautiful and working for you in your sight and in your alignment and in your heart, but it is time to level up. We're not giving our time and our energy to the stuff that isn't serving us anymore or to people that aren't serving us, to people who are negative and always like in that downswing of, you know, this is never gonna work out for me. Well. Let it not work out for you. You got things to do and you got things to move forward on, positive things. This is about you moving upwards, okay? This isn't about leaving people in behind and ditching people, but knowing again what is right for you and aligning yourself with what's right for you. You don't have to stay connected with people who don't support themselves and as a result, they're just gonna drag you down. Move on. Move on, earth signs. So. This is really cool because I see that you're growing. You're growing a lot. You're not putting up with any BS anymore. And as a result, you're standing in stronger power and you're gonna wield beautiful things for you. What other messages are here for our beautiful earth signs? Earth signs, please. What else? Earth signs, here we go. What's this? Nice, oh my God, earth signs. Dwelling in the truth. And isn't this an air element? Sure is. And we've had so much air coming up with the arrows, with the swords, all of that. So this is saying by the end of the month, you see the forest through the trees. You see the people who don't support you. You see the old behaviors or the old belief systems or patterns that you're not buying into anymore. And as a result, you see clearly. What it says down here is I stand in the light of truth. How beautiful is that? When when you calm the mind, when you don't respond, when you, well, rather when you respond, um, you respond with an active mind rather than a stressed, negative, fearful mind, then you see everything very clearly and you're able to make calm decisions and move forward. Don't you want to be this person? Nice, calm, loving, peaceful. This is everything coming for you, Earth signs. So stay focused. You're doing excellent work. Don't go backwards. Don't listen to those naysayers. They got nothing for you, okay? Stay in alignment. Dwell in your truth, and you're going to see everything come up roses. Earth signs, I hope this message is helpful for you and helps give you some perspective for January. If you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. And of course, friends, join me next week for your next group reading. Thank you, Earth Signs.